B-flat. The front door is right there. We're 10 stories up for trying out loud. All right, everybody. Welcome back. So we're playing. Thank goodness you're here. I've heard it's really funny. I don't know. I kind of just bought it and then heard somebody say it was funny. So it's like now we're going to get into it. This is a boring intro. Anyways, here we go. Mr. Mayor's in a meeting and you won't be free for another few hours yet. But if you just sit there, I'll let you know when he's ready. All right, love. So I wonder if we were to just sit here, would she just... You know, would the mayor be ready? I love the things to do, though. Like, it says walking around, jumping up and down, sitting down. Siggy guide. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know, but I guess we'll get up and we'll get around here. Tired of this chair. I love how cute our little dude is. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! What's up, Mr. Mailman? Good morning, little fella. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to smack your butt. <laughs> that was kind of on me. <laughs> what you got there, bud? Here, I'll help. <laughs> Nick's bricks. Nick's bricks. Come get your bricks. Bricks by the brick, bricks by the bag. High quality bricks by Nick. That's me. I mean, you're doing a good job so far. Oh. There you go, I'll give you a little snap on the knee for that one. <laughs> Polite notice, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming back to get you too. I love you. I love you. Whore. <laughs> hello, Mr. Gardner, dude. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. Thank you. Really Reggie's wife could learn a thing or two. <laughs> Wait. You want to run that one by me again? Trash bag. Oh, it's a rat. Or another rat. And another. Uh, Come on, give me some seed. Oh, that sounds oh, weird. Oh, oh. Give me some more. Get more. More for the birdies. More for the birdies. <laughs> No, no feeding the birds. Oh, no feeding the birds is illegal around here. What are you doing in there, buddy? Morning. See it, smell it, sort of. Council tax all paid. Stop polishing your wand and get back out here. No jokes around nine to seventeen. Okay, that's fair. Are you alright? Well, thank goodness you're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication, that I might slip free. Hmm? Why don't I just take your weirdly skinny arm out of there? Heisman's brew, drunk driver. Fair enough. A little bit of drunk driving is what everybody needs. Oh, that sounds. Never mind. Do you have any lube? Never mind. Oh, oh hey. This morning. Why? Because this dolt has lost my keys. And now we've got to wait for that useless locksmith. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. What am I like? Colin, you are the most work shy fop I've ever had the misfortune to employ. I don't know what half of these things these guys are saying, by the way. My wife could learn a thing or two. Wait. So there's like a running joke between you guys? It's <laughs> cause like, you know, Higgins' wife could learn a thing about grip? Now then, Larry. How about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint, then? It's like a normal pint. But I take boo, my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few bottles about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs in your own blinking public house. Well, Florence normally does it, but she's off today. Good grief. Oh, I'm in the sink. Call you down there, lad. Give those bottles a shake-up, won't you? Yeah, I'll give them a shake-up. 
I probably shouldn't say it like that. Where even am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> There you go, they're all shook up. Oh! No, let go! Oh, we are Randy. I am the liquor. We should probably go towards the bubbles before we suffocate, though. I gotta be honest, I have no idea what's going on right now. Ah, nothing like a nice white pipe to start the day. On the house. Okay. Hello. <laughs> what role is a character? He'll be back later, I reckon. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna be a menace real quick. All right, let me whack this dude. Oh no, I'm back going to the new basement, I guess. Well, what happened? Oh. Ooh, one small is bigger. <laughs> Oh, I'm just changing her radio for some reason. Oh, they got in. What are you, drunk? Put Ronnie in the recovery position. Oh, I helped him. I was just trying to beat him up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, you found me. Hello. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, uh, no, I just... I'm actually the town bowl, if you catch my meaning. No, I don't. <laughs> I've got the butter. Wee. 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 <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> I've never seen butter used as a sponge before. Oh, don't eat it. Radio chap, ready for one last tug tugaroo? Hmm? Grab a hold of my forum. On my mark. Three, two, one. Eat. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. What's this? Oh. Twas nary a tuppence. Twas a thruppence. Pray tell, young thruppence, where best to spend ye? Hmm? What hell, what luck? A wishing well. Hmm. God speed, young thruppence. Oh, oh you blooming turnip. <laughs> In for a penny. I don't understand what's going on. That's loud. Hey, dude. What? It is noon and all asunder. I'm gonna act like I didn't hear that first part. I've never seen a hole as big as that before. You know, you've never seen your mom. Sorry. My wife could learn a thing or two. <laughs> okay, I do I like your comment better. Oh. Hang on a wee minute. Hello. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishman get pissed down at the market. You better get down there and find it. Or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. No need to get angry at me. March, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in till. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time. Hold up. vinegar spell's only just washed out. Suit yourself. All right, well, uh, good luck with your payment, I guess. Ooh. That's okay. I couldn't get it quite right my first 48 times either. It's nothing like walking this. Hello. I'm looking for tits. Huh? I've got some. Orphanages. I'm not for sale. Oh, my bad. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. If you're looking for something to do, that middle aisle is your right stick. Can you straighten it up for us? I can try. No problem. <laughs> I wish signs like that worked. I've got a sausage here. Oh, like yes. Ah, I've dropped it. Oh. That's okay. I've got another. I'm right here. Ah, 
I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a mo. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> Looking for a good time. 1 a.m., 3 p.m., half two, and noon. I like that joke. Oh, chimney sweeper. Hello. Oh, help me. What have we got here then? <laughs> a towel in the owl. Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. Wait, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still a large crime. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing today, sir? Ah, oh, a fine mess. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Don't bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. Scrambled bread? Uh, see ya. Hell. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Huh? Little Tom Anthony has nearly crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. I think I see your problem. All your corn's exploded. Nothing new to me, I assure you. We Hello there. Don't bring it up. Hello, I'm a worm. Hello, worm. One thing you ought to know about worms. We love rain. One time I went up for my rain, but it wasn't rain. It was a bird playing a cruel trick. You're not a bird, are you? I should hope not. I'm a worm. Oh. oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your cool story. I just wasn't paying attention. I have no idea what anybody said so far since playing this game. Oh, a fine scene. Yeah. I have no idea how that got there. I pull the other one, passing off my spanner as a stuff kepper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Oh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Yeah, don't worry, I'll still have you set up your stall with all your smoking fish. There you go. I think he's probably lay off the smoke in that dude. I agree. You look weird. Dugs an aim, rugs at the game. That makes sense actually. Janice the wife, Dad in Corfu, nineteen ninety two. Oh that's a little bit weird. Oh. That's a little suspicious, but alright. Five across a thick rope of wire. Five across a thick rope of wire? Ah, a horseshoe. That is not even close, dude. Oh my goodness, somebody's serving cake in here. Let me in. <laughs> oh my big butt. Hi. Oh. Close due to smacky bum bum. Yeah, that's fair. Sorry, <laughs> I thought we were having cake. Let me in. <laughs> oh, you've come just in the nick of time. I came in as usual, opened up shop. Counted till, went to make my first buy of the day, and then I realized we've no meat. Oh no! I can't make a pie without meat. It's the second most important ingredient. Oh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's Hams and pick us up some of his steaks. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Florence, get that oven warmed up. For when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warns. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. Yep, I'm going. Let me go get some ham. Dude, I'm back. Guess what? Uh. So did yours, man. Looks like we didn't need that hose after all, lad. Right, so all we need now is fertilizer. I reckon Rob's will have a Do I smell quail? No. I see. 
fries but a tomato. That one's got a nice sense of taste. Okay, well, you should never say that about a fish. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> Just need to go up through here. <laughs> Hello. Thank goodness you're here. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? Oh. Great job. Another chicken bake, please, love. Ah, right, well, with no butter today, Colin's gone and lost it, so it's vegan. I hope that's all right. Oh no, I'd rather shit bed. What? Don't put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. I don't know. Oh. Whoa. I found a rent church. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, what? They're mimicking people. How's up, Meep? I'm here to help. I do need the screwdriver, though, bud. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kerry Louise Pickle. Passing off my flathead is your produce, is it? Yes, but learn us when I do that. I can't eat on my back for a minute in this town without one of you's pinching my tools. I swear oh. down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, uh, your likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chip over this. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thank you for that, Kita. We got never look back yet. Yeah, never looked better. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Don't put your bin in my bin. Eh? Hello. Are you able to get it fixed now? Hi, thanks for helping me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad. I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone walkies. It must have been pinched by that no good job, Frank. He's probably doing it the brook, poaching fish as we speak. Dang it. I gotta go all the way back. Me in your bin. <laughs> well, Harvey. Looking head, blacking lung, smoking's best when you start it young. Amen, brother. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. You're not gonna like this. <laughs> ah, hello again. Hello. <laughs> Didn't expect to see you twice in one day. Yep. <laughs> Bill Turpentine. My father's the county ombudsman. Oh. Oh, did you just kill him? Oh, he's still twitching. He's good. <laughs> yeah, I need some well, ham. Well, I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. How? What happened? We're in the meat world. One dark winter's night, my father brought me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the run to the litter, jolted as I made the cut. It bleated and bled for a fortnight, and I wept. I'm not listening to that one. That's actually really scary sounding. When I was scarcely three years old, my father, mistaking me for a small cut of venison, hung me out in smokehouse. I was nearly dead, dangling over the embers before my sisters found me. And by then, I was already stricken with a black lung. The doctor said I shan't likely see my twelfth summer. And I wept. What is going on? Do you know how glue is made? Yeah, horses. I, I found out when I was only seven years old. After my mom went lame. Father took it to knackers that very same evening. And I wept. Find all of Sam's meat bits. I don't like this. Well, they don't like me apparently. I just gotta eat. Them. Oh. 
excellent work, lad. A fine cut indeed. Can you let me out? Oh, hello. I'll make quite the pie, I'll tell thee now. I love your eyes. I all we need to do is... Right! I've forgotten the most important ingredient. Fine eggs. Here we are. I'm sure there's the number in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Huh? Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Horrible raw. All right, lad. The number is... Oh. One. Two. Another two. Six. Hello. This is Pasty Pete's Premium Pasty Pastry Pete. Colin? Is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Ron. Yeah, Pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So you've forgotten my pie mix, then? Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry, <laughs> Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the business. Well, you better bring us three big mixed boxes post haste! Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, oh that was quick. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, Lauren. What the chum? Ooh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were in the pie <gasps> in the space. I see. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to wear this clothes. You're looking at Help, I'm in the oven. Would you two stop flirting with each other? Right. Mr. Ron? Yes, Florence? Does the pie machine usually fill the shop with big things about smoke? It doesn't matter now, Florence. What matters now, then? Not for everyone. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, we are the pie. Days and down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet! Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years, and you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, now look, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, 